What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my public YouTube channel. Now, what exactly are we going to be talking about in this today's video? I'm going to be discussing, uh, excuse me, discussing what a real vampire is. I'm going to be really explaining what it means to be a real vampire and what they are because real vampires 110% exist on our planet today, but most likely you don't understand what a real vampire is. So when you come across one, you probably wouldn't even know about it. If you wanna know what a real vampire is, then this is definitely the video that is for you. So you have one thing to do, and that is simply to stay tuned. All right, let me first start with introducing myself just in case you are new to my YouTube channel. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in the entirety of the Kabbalistic tree. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck. And I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in direct association with astrology. Now with that being said, Moving into the topic of our today's video, we're talking about what is a real vampire? Well, first, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the nuance and the subtlety of what a real vampire is first. This is where we're gonna start. This is where we're gonna draw our context. So a vampire, first and foremost, is going to be an occultist. The concept of the vampire is an occult concept, meaning it's a hidden path. It's a hidden form of spirituality. Which right out the gate means when you look at a real vampire, Unless you're someone who's psychically gifted or gifted psychologically speaking, you're not even going to know that this person is a quote unquote vampire. Now, most likely you have a certain level of programming in the first place that tells you this is what a vampire is, this is what vampires do, or this is what they look like because of Hollywood or because of the entertainment industry, okay? But the reality is, is that vampires are very hidden beings, meaning what makes them a vampire is their pure intention and truly their actions and behaviors that revolve around serving themselves, that revolve around increasing their own power at all times. So what I'm basically saying is that a lot of the times when you come across real vampires in everyday, in, in daily life, which you will come across and you do come across, it's not too common, meaning when you come across a real vampire who is a consciously living vampire, it's rare to come across these individuals, but I guarantee you listening have definitely encountered one in your lifetime, absolutely speaking. And as I was saying, you're most likely not even going to notice it. You're not even going to recognize it. But if you pay attention to how they live their life, and if you pay attention to their actions and their behaviors, then you can start to pick, a, uh, pick apart the pieces of realizing, wow, this person is not just a normal person. This is definitely a vampire. This is a spiritual, real vampire. So let's first like discard the myth of a vampire being this person that has long fangs and you know pale white skin and you know has the complex of Dracula. Now, when we're talking about energy bodies, like the energy field that these 
beings carry as well as their astral bodies. Yes, their astral bodies and their energy fields can take on these appearances. And a matter of fact, they do take on those appearances. But when you look at them from a purely physical basis, they look like, for the most part, normal human beings, except oftentimes they are more attractive. They have features to their physical appearance that oftentimes are a little bit more enticing, a little bit more attractive than the average person. And that level of attraction is due to the fact that the more attractive you are, the more you pull in, the more you can suck in. You, you basically take attention just off your looks alone, not even adding in your energy field or your actions and behaviors, just off a looks basis. So with that being said, we live in a world today and this may be a wake up call for some of you, but some of you may already understand this deep down, especially if you're someone who tunes into my YouTube channel, you've definitely heard me talk about this before. We live in a world, I promise you, that is governed by occult vampires, that is literally ran and controlled by real occult vampires. I am a real occult vampire. I'm somebody who lives by the philosophy, who behaves and has intentions that are in alignment with service to myself. And I'm conscious of this. And I allow myself to embrace who I truly am, which is the reason why I incarnated here. So what I'm really saying right now is I am an incarnate vampire. I'm somebody who came to this planet to polarize in this way. So I'm speaking from personal experience, not just from an outsider view or an outsider look of things. And once again, we are living in a world today that is truly physically and psychically governed by real occult vampires which means the people that are in control are practicing spiritual sciences and spiritual practices that revolve around taking energy from others, from circumstances, from the universe itself and bringing it inwards to empower the self. Hence, this is why the path is called service to self. Now, if we're going to look at the energetic mechanisms behind what a vampire does, if you simply pull up in your imagination what you view a black hole to look like in our universe or in the universe or in space, that's what vampires do energetically speaking. They are literally the microcosmic manifestations of what a real black hole is that exists in space. That's what our energy bodies are designed to do. And contrary to popular belief, there are many people that think, oh, vampires are evil and they're satanic and they, they are not supposed to be here on our planet. Well, clearly, if vampires were so evil and so not supposed to be here on the planet, then why would the source allow them to exist? So obviously they exist for a reason and they play an evolutionary role and I discuss that very clearly throughout my YouTube channel and if clearly if you want to go deeper into it, you can join my Patreon where I go into very much depth about what vampires are here to do and what types of technologies they use on our planet. So they're here for a reason, by source, divine law. And it's because we clean things. We suck in energies and we manifest karma. We manifest the laws of cause and effect, meaning we move destructive energies that bring destructive changes, quick transformations. Oftentimes those transformations are going to be uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, they are extremely important and valuable for human evolution. That's why we're allowed to exist on a planet like Earth. And also why we govern the planet known as Earth and why we have a matrix and why, excuse me, not even why we have a matrix, but why we control the matrix. 
So there are many vampires, real vampires that exist on our planet today. A lot of them are people you know, maybe not personally, but you know of like celebrities, actors in movies, politicians, presidents. A lot of these figures are real occult vampires, which means they practice philosophy from a spiritual lens based on sucking in energy from others or things to increase their own power, which yes, does mean they are satanic in nature. I am satanic in nature, which means you are an adversary to the human species. You are a resistor. You're a pressure bringer. You bring stress to the human species, but once again, for a purpose, to speed up evolutionary progression. So someone has to play that role. There has to be the negatively polarized beings on the planet because who else is going to control and dominate the matrix? Who else is going to manage the matrix? Of course, it's going to be real occult vampires, beings that have the strong intention of serving themselves at all times and are willing to take energy from something or someone else to bring into the to bring into themselves and increase their own power. So with that being said, not only do real vampires exist on our planet, but real vampires are actually worshiped. Meaning there are some high level celebrities that are worshipped by the mass collective that are vampires, that are clear, real vampires. Let me give you a little bit of an example. Let's look at Playboy Cardi. I don't know if you know Playboy Cardi. I'm sure a lot of you do. But he has an entire album that was based along the lines of vamp. Vamp being short for vampire, V-A-M-P. And he talks about it in his one of his albums. I don't I don't know what the album is off the top of my head, but like one of his main songs in the album is called Vamp and then Vamp Life. And this isn't for no reason. Now, I don't know 100% sure if Playboy Cardi is you know, a conscious vampire, meaning he knows exactly what he's doing and why he's doing it. He may just be somebody that's just acting off of his intuition and just subconsciously releasing music based around vampires, which does make him a vampire because he's tuning into that energy. But there are other types of celebrities that are real vampires, meaning they are very conscious about what they are and what they do behind closed doors, behind what the masses see them in regards to their, their mask or their public face, meaning that there are other celebrities and there are many people on our planet in positions of power that have spiritual practices that are very dark in nature, very satanic in nature, very adversarial and very predatory in nature. And meanwhile, when you look at the person in your daily life, you would never notice. But what you will notice is that these types of people are successful. They're always successful at what it is that they do. Because as vampires, we are constantly sucking in energy. We're constantly taking in energy. That means we're taking in positive energy and we're taking in negative energy. So we have to learn the skill to a profound degree of transmutation, which is one of the hermetic laws. It's called alchemy. So we are one of the most adept beings when it comes to alchemy because we're always sucking in. We are the negative charge on the planet and we are based in the feminine current. We're based in the feminine polarity, which is also the negative charge. And another word for attracting energy is to receive 
Another word for receive is to pull in. This is where we get our common theme of being energy suckers. It's because we are. <laughs> We're pulling in everything from all directions. But also as vampires, we go through a lot of pain and we go through a lot of suffering to hone in our skills, to be able to be the best amongst our environments. Vampires, real vampires go through the most trauma and go through the most, let's put it this way, initiation in order to be the best amongst their peers, amongst their environments. So with that being said, to be a vampire is a real path. And it's a path that not everyone has the capability of actually walking. That's why there's truly so few of us in connection to the whole mass collective, yet that very few of us actually dominates the mass collective on a psychic and physical level. This is why I'm sharing the keys of real deep level occultism right now, the keys of knowledge, not the keys of power, but the keys of knowledge. So let me give you an example of a vampire, somebody who is a vampire that maybe you would never guess who's a celebrity, a very well-known celebrity. Drake. Okay, Drake. We all know Drake. I know you know who Drake is as you're listening to this. Drake is a vampire. His philosophy, his mindset, and his actions are all based around serving himself. He calls himself the Six God. And when he refers to the Six God, he's referring to the Black Sun. Because the Six in Kabbalah is the sphere of Tifereth. But because Drake is within the industry, and because he's a real vampire and he's one of the top artists, literally the top of the charts within the industry, he's clearly a practicing occultist. And he knows what his agenda or he knows what his influence is promoting. And a large portion of what he's promoting is service to himself, worship to himself. And as I said, the six from the front side is Tifereth, but from the back side is the black sun, which is the opposite path, which is the backwards path, the path going towards the source, but as a negatively polarized being, AKA a real vampire. Let me just explain to you, or not even explain, but let me just read off a lyric from one of his newer songs that literally shows he's a real vampire or is him communicating to the public what he is. Yet once again, many of you would never even guess. And this is not me sitting here like talking about a conspiracy or anything of that nature. I'm telling you what it is. I know. Okay. It's, it's quite clear to somebody like myself and I'm just sharing it publicly because that's how I build up my empire. And I also recruit individuals who want to walk the path of becoming a real vampire. And that's what I do on the Patreon, which is the first link in the YouTube description, tier number three, okay, or four. But with that being said, most of you would never know Drake is a real vampire. You, you may hear me say this and you're like, what are you talking about? That, that he, I've been listening to his music for so long. He's a, you know, he's a good guy, he seems very nice, whatever the case is. He's not, you know, he's not into the dark arts. He's uh. You know, I don't know. I don't know what you might say. But he he is. He very much so is into the dark arts. He is a, an occult practitioner. He even mentions it on other songs about talking about voodoo and things of that nature. He knows how to move energies. And if he doesn't know how to do it personally, he's plugged into people that do it for him. But he is conscious of dark energy. He is very conscious of black magic. Let's put it that way. And he knows his songs, he knows his music promotes black magic influence. It promotes the negative polarity. He knows that. He's one of the head figures that 
pushes that influence. So once again, the six God flipped over is the black sun, the black sun God. Okay. And then his name in general, I mean, Drake, the reason why he's so successful as an artist is because he clearly was born for this path. Okay. Remember what I said, the negative polarity is the feminine path. It's the female, the dark feminine path, which is governed by an aspect of the great mother of the universe in her dark mother form. So think of it like this. Our universe is an entity. It's a real and en- it's a real living entity. And it is what I call the, the great mother. It's the mother that nurtures everyone's evolution, which is our own universe. And we live inside of the dark mother or the great mother, I should say. So with that, this great mother has different forms, different aspects she can manifest into to affect different types of souls walking different evolutionary paths. So for somebody on the lighter path or the positive polarity, I should say, the great mother may appear in the form of, I don't know, Aphrodite as an example, maybe even Isis, things in that nature. But for someone who's on the negative polarity, the great mother is going to appear in the, in the form of the dark mother, which comes in the form of Lilith or the Hecate or the Tiamat. Different entities, yet the same universal mother that's manifesting into these different forms for different souls. So you'll typically find that the people that are born for the negative polarity, people that are born as real vampires, they have a natural affinity towards their own mothers, meaning they have a stronger relationship and a connection with their actual physical mothers. I'm the same way. I grew up living with both of my parents, but it happened to be that I had a stronger relationship with my mother and she helped me out the most in my life. So I spent most of my time with her rather than my father. Right now I live in the same state as my mother. My father lives in a completely different state. Drake is clearly the same way. He has a stronger relationship with his mother than he does his father. He's closer to the negative polarity than he is to the positive. The male, the masculine being the positive, the woman, the female being the negative. These are just little signs. This doesn't apply to everybody in their life, but this is a telltale sign of someone who is born for the negative polarity. And you can see it physically manifest. Now his name is Drake. So Drake short is draconian, the dragon energy, okay? The serpent force which is very feminine in nature as well. But the draconian aspect of the serpent force is the negative aspect of the serpent force. That's his name. So with that being said, um, I have, as I said, I had some lyrics that are literally from Drake's newest song that I I listened to and I heard and I was like, I gotta make a video on this Um, because I mean, it's, it's right in your face. And it shows up in in many different areas of life. And all you really need to do is come across a video like mine where someone's openly expressing what's going on. And then you start to accept it, then observe, and you start to see it manifest in your own life. Because I think a lot of people have this notion of vampires, this real vampires, and they may understand that these beings exist. They may understand that this is taking place right now and that we live in a world that is governed by real vampires, but maybe, you know, people are repressing that thought because they don't want to believe it. Maybe people are like pushing it down because they don't, they don't maybe want to accept it because it kind of is a dark reality. It's a dark truth. It's, it's, it's associated with taking the red pill. I mean, it's a real, it's a real deal thing. The people that govern this planet are real deal practicing uh, practicing Satanists and are considered real vampires, consciously negatively polarized beings that have their energetic roots in uh, the dark occult, dark Kabbalah. 
Oh yeah, so let me, uh, let me just finish with what I'm saying. So there's a lyric from this new Jumbotron shit poppin' lyric, uh, which is the new Drake song. And it goes like this. Um, so it says, we the ones to get your shit, shit, oh, excuse me, we the ones to get your shirt damp. Try to take a spot, now it's too cramped up. 8 a.m. geeking hard, I'm a real vamp. So here we have the lyric, 8 a.m. geeked hard, I'm a real vamp. 8 a.m. geeked hard, I'm a real vamp. I'm a real vampire. And the number eight is connected to the abyss because within the occult field, the number eight is associated with chaos. So chaos being directly connected to the abyss is associated with the hidden sphere on the Kabbalah tree known as death, which also represents death energy, but acts as a doorway or a gateway to the other side. And when I say other side, I mean the Garden of Eden into the Garden of Edom, the realm of the positive polarity into the realm of the negative polarity. There are two soul paths to take in life. One is the positive and one is the negative, but most people don't even know these paths exist. Yet at the same time, most people are naturally inclined towards the positive. Meaning they would do much better on the positive polarity if they knew about it. But a lot of programming that is placed within our matrix is designed to pull people into the negative polarity, yet not giving them the awareness they need on how to do it successfully. Because remember, the negative polarity is inherently the harder path to walk. There is more pain, there is more suffering that one has to go through to do it successfully, but there is the most material power to gain on that path. You gain the ability to be in full control of your physical life, meaning you dictate what happens as a controller of the matrix. And that is what the negative polarity offers if you do it successfully. So that simple lyric, 8 a.m. geeking hard, I'm a real vamp. He's basically just saying, I'm from the other side. I am a real occult vampire. I'm a real black magician. Yet the average person that hears that lyric has no idea what he's talking about. They think it's just, oh, he stays up all night. And it, there's really a much deeper message that goes behind that. Okay, so once again, real vampires exist amongst all of us on a daily basis. Some of them you actually know in your real life. Most occult vampires you'll actually come across are going to be unconscious vampires, meaning they live their lives by the philosophy of service to self, but they haven't made that conscious switch to accept what they actually are, meaning they don't necessarily fully accept that they are completely service to self. A great example of that is somebody along the lines of Andrew Tate. Clearly his actions and his philosophy is based around serving himself, building up an empire, but he's still pursuing religious beliefs. He's still trying to be in touch with uh, God and do the right thing for humanity. But that is a disconnect between his soul and his ego, his soul and his want to be identity, okay? Because truly, once again, both paths play their role and it's most important to figure out what are you? What do you gravitate towards? And as I said, most vampires that you'll actually come across on a daily basis are going to be unconscious. So they're living service to self, but they don't fully understand it yet. They don't fully accept it yet because that's too evil. It goes against their morals. And that disconnect is actually a big separation of power between an unconscious vampire and a conscious vampire. That simple disconnect within the mind, being able to accept the polarity you walk, is a massive energetic gap 
between an unconscious vampire and a conscious vampire. So you'll come across actually, quite frankly, lots of unconscious vampires in your life. These people are in oftentimes positions of power. They're the top of the sales team. They're, you know, they're working for themselves. They have their own businesses, things in that nature. But then when you're looking at the people that are conscious vampires, these people have real power. They have real influence and they have real control over the psyche of other people's minds to a profound degree. And the reason why conscious vampires are so much more powerful is because these people are in conscious communication with extraterrestrial forces that relay the information they need to dominate, that relay the certain types of mindsets and perspectives that you need to have in order to know how to control a matrix and know how to do it under the scope of divine law. Because remember, divine law is always in place. So vampires really do play an evolutionary role. And once again, for those of you that don't know this, study my YouTube channel and you will start to pick up on this reality. So vampires still operate under divine law and there are certain things that you need to know in regards to manipulation when it comes to doing that and still operating within the parameters of divine law. That's why when certain mass collective programs are set into place, it's promoted first, giving you a choice. It gives you a chance to say, are you going to do this? Or are you going to rebel against this, this program? Okay, this is what our program is. We want you to take place in it. We want you to do it because it, as you do, it feeds you into the system, drains you of energy, gives us power. But we're telling you what's happening and now we're giving you the choice. You can go into that system or you can rebel against it and face consequences from the matrix, but ultimately work it out, okay? So that's how it functions. And you would be surprised how many people that you actually listen to, that you admire, and that you may very well think are good people, nice and kind people, which are actually behind closed doors some of the most service to self oriented people on the planet. Okay, meaning the only thing that truly matters to them is their own kind and themselves. And that's one of the benefits when it comes to the negative polarity for anyone who walks that path is that every other person that's on the negative polarity gains more power when others are brought to the negative polarity. That is why different music videos and different movies and song lyrics have this occult symbolism that is designed to shift your consciousness to want to pursue the negative polarity. The more people that get recruited into the dark side, the more the dark side gains power at all levels. Yet, We live in a world today where people are given enough knowledge or they're not even knowledge, but they're given enough influence to draw them into the negative polarity, but not enough knowledge and not enough guidance or wisdom to allow them to do it successfully. So it's a form of soul harvesting. And we could go as far as saying soul siphoning where you take the mass collective and you program them slightly negatively, lead them in through rituals done on TV, done on movies, music videos, and lyrics, lead them into opening up psychic doorways that brings them into the negative polarity, but then leave them there to get fed on by all the dark entities that are associated 
with the negative polarity. Because remember what I said, when you're pursuing the negative polarity, you are going to go through the most challenge and the most suffering out of any other path. But there is the most reward to gain as well. And it's the same principle, the same hermetic principle of um, rhythm between the two poles. The lower you go on the negative pole, the higher you can rise on the positive. This is why, once again, real vampires control completely and dominate this matrix, this physical matrix and energetic matrix. So that's the type of world that we're living in. And you get benefits as a real vampire when you recruit others to the negative polarity, whether they do it successfully or unsuccessfully. But truly, you gain a lot more benefits when you train someone properly on the negative polarity to reach their highest soul's potential. Because at the end of the day, this entire program or this entire process is governed by the source. And the negative polarity is just as valid and just as powerful as the positive polarity. So both paths are meant to achieve their highest potential. And if you can be a being on the negative polarity that recruits other beings to the negative polarity and teaches them how to do it successfully, you're going to gain the most power from it. So there are many ways to gain power on the negative polarity, as you should be able to understand right now. But this is what's taking place on our planet today. And as I broke down that Drake lyric, this is just a small sliver of an example of this being put right into your face and you didn't even know about it. Okay, and this is just a basic example. This is like the easiest to see message, the easiest to see sign, okay? When you're somebody like myself who understands the Kabbalistic tree to a profound degree, I mean, I can see all the Kabbalistic programming and absolutely everything, everything, okay? There is Kabbalistic, ritualistic programming that is within everything affecting the human species on an unconscious, subconscious level, which is programming their minds to go through rituals and they don't even know it. They don't even realize it. They just wonder, why is my life so shitty? Why does all this bad stuff happen to me? Maybe it's because you were pulled into a black magic initiation and you fell into it and you acted it out, but you don't even know what you're in and you don't even understand you have a soul or a spirit. So now you're being affected by dark entities or dark energies, negative energies, because you opened up the doors, because you consumed the ritual, you consumed the content that took you through an unconscious, subconscious ritual, but now you just don't know what's going on. Now you just feel like your life is shit. Now you just feel like things aren't fair. Rather than taking responsibility for where you are and embracing where you're at. Okay, so once again, this is what a real occult vampire is. And I have much more content that goes into much more depth about the mindset, the perspective, and the technology, the real occult technology over on my Patreon, which is the first link in the YouTube description. Recommended is tier number three, which is the Universe B Vampire Service. But all the other content in general is going to be valuable. So if you want to take it deeper, you now have a path to go, to go down, okay? So with that being said, this is where I'm going to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, come down here and hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you want to get notified whenever I post content like this, because let's be honest, you're not hearing anybody talk about the occult in this way. Okay, there's no sugarcoating for the most part going on on my channel. I mean, to a degree because I make sure the more profound information is over at the Patreon, but still the content I release is very raw in its nature and you're not going to hear it anywhere else, I promise. And and I, I'm telling you, like once again, I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience. So I'm not speaking as some love light conscious community warrior trying to 
express what my idea is or what my belief is on real occult vampires. I'm telling you as a real occult vampire what we do, what our mindset is like, and how we function. And I'm not doing this to expose the vampires. I'm doing this to spread the awareness so that you as the listener can understand this is a valid path of evolution. And rather than fighting against it, just accept it for what it is and appreciate it no matter what path you're on because that is the key to source evolution, appreciation. And what is this? This is the knowledge of good and evil. This is the real knowledge, okay? So once again, definitely hit that notification bell because you wanna get notified. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, come subscribe. By subscribing, you're further linking into the content and there really is an energetic bonus to that. So you get more value from the content by subscribing. Now, I also want to say, if you have any family or friends, please feel free to copy and paste this link and send it out, okay? Spread this content. Let's let this content spread throughout the matrix of YouTube and just online in general. Okay, I don't care if you clip stuff from my content and post it on TikTok or post it on Facebook. I don't care. My intention is to spread this information as much as possible because that's going to help me build my empire and it would be very appreciated. Okay? So with that being said, now I'm going to take your awareness to literally the most important link within the entirety of the YouTube description. This is the first link at the top. I mentioned it a couple times within this video. This is where you can join my Patreon, okay? On my Patreon, I have an entire vault of exclusive occult content. None of this content is on my public YouTube channel, and that is for many intentional reasons. At this point, the Patreon is almost like a secondary YouTube channel, except all the content is more advanced and more personal than what you're getting here. Then as you move into tier two and up, you're gaining access to an entire magic training course, which I feel like would be extremely valuable, especially if you're a beginner occultist and you're looking for a structured format to follow to start developing your psychic capabilities. Then as you move into tier three, this is the most popular tier of the Patreon, and this is what's known as the Universe B Vampire Service. So this is the service that I actually perform an advanced occult ritual on the participants to completely change their energetic structure to be more so Universe B dominant, turn them into a vampire, service to self-oriented. Okay, what this does is this gives these individuals an ability to exist within the dark energy areas and locations of the multiverse itself without inherently getting harmed by them, but rather developing knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and potential power from them instead. What this also does is this gives these individuals an ability to be more so receptive to their unconscious and their subconscious mind which is feminine in nature. And it also gives them a psychic capability to pull in energy from dark energy and chaos within the environment to transmute into their own power and evolutionary potential. If this is something that you wanna take advantage of, once again, first link in the YouTube description, tier number three. Now, as you go into tier number four of the Patreon, this also gives you access to everything from the previous tiers, but you get a bonus. You get psychic reading predictions in the beginning of every single month, and you get a private scheduled live stream. So what I do is I pull a card, tarot card, based on your zodiac sign in the beginning of the month to give you a psychic prediction on what's going to be taking place from an initiatory lens for that month. So that, you can be, so that you can better navigate those circumstances, okay? If this is something you wanna take advantage of, tier number four. This is a brand new tier to the Patreon. All right, with that being said, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up there. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to everyone specifically who is a part of the Patreon for taking your knowledge, your practices, and your studies to that other side. Big shout out to all of you. Now, we're moving into the second link below. You can't miss it. This is where you can book your very unique tarot card reading from me. 
in this tarot card reading, I can literally pinpoint exactly where you are on the Kabbalistic tree. I can tell you what you're feeling, experiencing, and going through in the present moments, and then what to expect as you move into your near and your long-term future, all based on your positioning on that Kabbalistic tree. And the reason why I can do this is because I understand the Kabbalistic tree way more than the average person. This is a reading that you will have never received before, and I promise that. At this point, I've done well over 950 readings. I've been doing this for well over a year. I do a reading every single day, and I've received tons of valuable feedback. So if you wanna book your reading with me, go ahead and do so, second link below. Now, also within that same second link below, you have an option to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. If you have questions about your own spiritual journey, your own occult practices, and you want to ask me personally and hear what my uh, answers or my response is going to be, then definitely consider it. Book a one-on-one -on -one call. It's a great way to gain value by literally communicating with somebody like myself. All right, that's within the second link. Now, if you're taking your practices to a deeper level than the average person, then I would highly recommend looking into the mentorship options. So I have a six-week mentorship and I have a three-month mentorship. All of these services are found in that same second link below. So if this is stuff that you're interested in, you can go to that second link and you can read much more about them. All right, I'm gonna wrap that up there. Now, as we move into the third link in the YouTube description, you can't miss it, this is the third link. This is where you can join and become a YouTube member. Now, as you become a YouTube member, you're getting access to many different types of benefits, but most importantly, you're getting access to what is called the Psychic Warfare Emoji Program. So what this is, is this is a sequence of emojis that I've designed myself that are based on real occult principles, and you can use them in a specific configuration, link in the name of a target of your choice, hit enter, and it will actually cause psychic effects to that target. This is the most simple form of utilizing psychic warfare through the internet platform. There are over 2,000 posts where individuals have used this already, and there are even people right now in this moment that are taking advantage of it. If this is something that you wanna take advantage of for yourself, you can definitely do so. Once again, third link in the YouTube description, you click it, and then you join and become a YouTube member. Then you'll have access. So with that being said, this is where I'm going to wrap it up. I appreciate all of you very, very, very much, okay? I hope you all have an amazing rest of the day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.